Well, it's been almost 10 months now since I traveled down to Walnut Creek, California to purchase a pile of antique bike parts from Charles Nybor. He'd already begun the restoration on some pieces while others were still in their original very rough condition. The frame had been repainted without decals and a few pieces had been re-chromed while some, like the saddle and bars, still needed a lot of work. With the help of quite a few individuals and a bit of luck, the bike is finally finished. So I present to you the fully restored 1927 Hercules Speed King looking very much like what it must have looked like when it was ridden back in the 1920s. I'm dating the bike to 1927 as the Williams crank on the bike bears a 1927 date code, but the actual age of the bike is still a bit of a mystery. Charles had purchased the bike years ago after the owner at that time had passed away, but he was told that the bike had been in the family for a few generations, and as far back as they could trace it, the bike had originally been purchased in and ridden around Pasadena, California. Remember that as it eventually becomes an important clue to the bike's possible history. The gentleman that supplied me with the original decals now on the bike, Michael Garish, is a Hercules collector in the UK. After seeing the stamping on the bike's rear dropout, Mike speculated that the bike had actually been used by the British cycling team as a practice bike during the 1932 Olympics. Now let's connect some dots. Guess who sponsored and supplied the bikes for the 1932 British Olympic cycling team? Yep, the team was sponsored by Hercules. And guess where the 1932 Summer Olympics were held? The Rose Bowl Stadium in Pasadena, California. Since the frame had several American components on it, including the old Morro coaster brake and person saddle, my guess is that the frame may have been used by the 1932 British cycling team, but then left behind or sold off in the States with the team not wanting to bother with transporting the bike back to the UK. It may have then been acquired by a local bike merchant who built it up with whatever parts he had on hand to make it a rideable, serviceable bike and sold to the gentleman that eventually would ride it around Pasadena. All speculation, of course, but there are lots of coincidences in there, and it makes a great story. This was my first ride on the Hercules, and as you can tell, I was pretty hesitant at first. I naturally tend not to be very confident in the structural integrity of a bike this old, but as you watch this riding footage, you'll notice that I become more and more confident as I ride until I'm eventually racing with cars. Probably not the brightest idea as that moral coaster brake only hints at stopping the bike. The bike weighs in at 30 pounds, which really isn't that bad considering all the steel components. I was surprised at how well the bike rode, accelerated, and handled on flat roads. It has a very solid feel and I quickly grew to trust it. The slightest grade, well, that was a different story. Here I hit what was maybe a three or four percent grade, and with no other gear options, I was stuck with the bike's single speed of 46 by 16. Add the 30 pounds of weight to that, and you get quite a struggle. Still, I have to say that the bike is a pleasure to ride. I guess they built them right back then.
A big thanks goes out to Charles Nybor for selling me the bike in the first place and for his dogged persistence in hunting down a source for original decals. Speaking of which, another big thank you to Mr. Michael Garish for parting with this beautiful set of original decals so the bike could once again proudly display its Hercules heritage. Thanks also to Noah Stutzman for keeping the art of wood rim building alive in the United States and for supplying me with such a beautiful set of rims. I also have to thank Rudy at RHM Saddles for bringing the old person's racer back to life. And of course, a big thank you to John down at Stone Cyclery in Alameda, California for his willingness to deal with the many eccentricities presented by working on these antique bikes. Happy riding, folks.